we're good to go now. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, okay. So, uh, hey YouTube, I'm Magnusod2, and I have with me Tormental. Hello. And Jellicot3. Hello. And today we want to talk to you a bit about metagaming in Town of Salem. Um, basically, we we decided to make this just a little bit of a public safety announcement. Not that metagaming is going to get you, like, nailed or something. <laughs> oh, it will. I'll it find just, you. Yeah, just not in the good way. <laughs> but, uh, well, effectively, metagaming is the art of using information outside of the actual video game you're playing, in this case, Town of Salem, to give yourself new information in a form of cheating that really people have considered for a while as not reportable and not an offensive sort of way. But really, in my, my personal view, it ruins the game for a lot of people as it creates, well, a form of play outside the actual game, which is unfair because not everyone's going to have access to that. This is true. So really... Way to tell you what Town of Salem metagaming is and how you can sort of avoid it, or really how to stop it being effective for other people. So, first basically, of... it's like a PSA about fair play. Yeah, fair <laughs> use and fair play. Man, those words. Where's lazy. the fair play? Hashtag WTFP. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, myself, I came up with about. Th Four different forms of metagaming, which we'll go through one at a time. Uh, but However, the fact is, the game's intended to be a completely in-game thing. I mean, if you're standing next to somebody and you see them playing, and you're in the same game, you're like, oh, hold on, my friend is a jailer. Let's kill him! Rah! Right. That is uh, pretty much gaining an upper hand through information outside of the game, which you wouldn't have if you were playing... Normally, like you're supposed to. I mean, it, it sort of goes back to, you know, this is like stuff that people should have learned in childhood. Because when you're playing hide and seek and, you know, you you see your friends hiding and you go and hide, you know, the minute, you know, it finds you, you know, you don't go, I saw that person over there behind that tree and I saw that person behind that dumpster and I saw that person over in the, you know, doorway. You know, that's where everybody else is hiding. Like, uh, you, you know, so it's like you, you have to have some sense of fairness and you have to have some sense of not well, you that's know, trying to screw everybody else over. That's something <laughs> like, you learn with age because, okay, first of right. all, when we were young, that's exactly what you would do. You yeah. would. You, you would. Oh, crap. I'm found. You know what? Fuck the other guys. I'm going to go get them found. But as so you get older, you you learn. So what you're saying is metagaming is childish. Exactly. Yes, yeah, is childish. That's probably the best description for it. It's something you would do as a kid. It's like it's you can't stand the idea that you might lose in a fair game. So you have to, you know, cheat. Okay. take whatever you can to try to say, now I have the upper hand. You know? And of course, even though you apparently win the game through metagaming, you don't win, you lose. Right. And so does everyone else. So, Especially if people start recognizing your name and, you know, decide, oh, this guy's in this lobby, I'm quitting. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't seen that so it's yet. Like, um, but... <laughs> if you gain, like, a reputation as a jailer who's just like, tell Rolls now or die, mm. and it's like, list out your attributes, people are going to kill you under the assumption that they're just like, oh, God, it's that guy again. Kill him with fire. I've and they may before. actually kill yeah. you with fire. <laughs> yeah. Fascinating. I love that when you're in a round with somebody and they do something, you know, cheesy or cheatsy or, you know, rotten or whatever. Mm -hmm. And then in the next round, you get to be the killer and you see that same person with the same username in the game. And you're like, oh, he's here again. Time to die. <laughs> that's, if, that's if you can figure out who they are, of course. Yeah. yeah. But uh, yeah, Jill is generally the biggest target of metagamers for the like the sort of what I'm going to dub as acceptable in quotations metagaming. Because there is acceptable metagaming in that you can't be banned for it, but it still sucks. Right. It, just, and, yeah, it depends on how you... defines it differently. Yeah. It depends on how you do it, I, in my opinion. If you can do it appropriately, like, you know, if you ask I, someone... I would argue there's no appropriate way to metagame. It's well, still no, if you smooth. ask them just, like, the goal. Like, if you start asking them attributes, there's no way that the jailer is going to immediately know the person's attributes anyway. Like, okay, they ask you and they say, okay, I'm the lookout. 
The jailer's probably not going to know the person's attributes right off the bat, but if they have the same goal, they, you know, if they're not able to, you know, say, hey, what's the third letter in your goal? They're <laughs> going to have the same goal, and they'd immediately know. Even though it's not right, it's still effective. <laughs> See, I'm going to bring right. up something here that I hear is the same excuse every single time, is that anybody can bring up the wiki. Well, let's take into account how much time it takes to load up the wiki, shall we? <laughs> That just depends. First, you have to yeah. Go onto a new tab, go onto the wiki, find the exact page you got. How much time do you have in jail? Oh, about thirty seconds. You're not getting to that wiki in time. I don't even have enough time to type my attributes for certain rules with thirty <laughs> seconds. I don't know what the fuck. Not to mean. mention, there's quite a lot of people I've seen who play who have a computer that just dies if you do anything else other than play Town of Salem while you're mm. using it. There's another thing too, is that you know there are people who keep the wiki open and you know can supply the attributes and things like that you know on demand even if they're not that role whole practice you know makes the whole practice invalid you know, because it. you know you say what's your what's your second attribute and they just look at the wiki they already have open for the, just such an emergency and they tell you and you're like okay they're proven innocent so i mean it makes the whole thing of asking attributes yeah, pointless i mean it, the whole that whole meta is kind of like People have figured out how to get around it because it. The thing about it is, people figured out how to get around it because it was so foolproof. Right. <laughs> it was such a good method of figuring out who was lying or not in a bad way that people have figured out how to get around it. So people have had to come up with something else. Well, one thing I've started seeing coming up is people refusing to adhere to, say, jailers or mayors who are basically like attributes. Right. They're like, I don't mayor games. STFU. <laughs> That's right. And then they get murdered. And if they happen to be evil, then okay, fine, they're evil. But sometimes there's townies that do that. Like retributionists who get executed by the jailer. <clears throat> <laughs> Is that a, a sly video. dig at other people in the call, Tom? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. But, I mean, the thing is, you know, you can counter, and, you know, people make this claim, they say, don't worry about that metagaming stuff. You know, you could just keep the wiki open. You know, don't worry about pasting your will. You can just keep it copied at all times. You know, you can write a fake will if you're evil. You know, all the stuff, you know, don't worry about metagaming. There's all these ways to undo it. And it's like, yeah, but how, isn't it so much fun to go play Town of Salem and the first thing you have to do is open the wiki. And then the next <laughs> thing you have to do is write your fake will. Ain't and then no you've got to copy your fake time will. For that. <laughs> Yeah, it's so much fun to play a game where you have to, you know, be like Batman and have all the prep time and, you know, to beat Superman, you Batman. know? <laughs> the Batman. Game, the Batman game's more fun. Will's got me fake mayor, Will got me fake <laughs> jailer, Will. Yes. The game's fake more fun Will's when you just games. play it the way it's meant to be played. Right. <laughs> you know. Yeah. I mean, at the end of the day, it's a party game. It's supposed to be fun. I mean, e even if you go on ranked, I mean, okay, go hardcore. But on ranked, I guarantee you, almost seventy five percent of my occurrences on ranked have been people not knowing what's going on, which is <laughs> weird. Yeah, which... I, the, how do you get into ranked when you have no experience playing the game? It's weird. It's just like it's going to ranked. It's just like you have to play fifty games to get in. Okay, that's yeah. fine. Fifty games later, what the fuck am I doing? Yeah. <laughs> After fifty games, you should know at least some common sense. Oh. The doctor, heal me, I'm a mayor, or something like that. You know, it's like, you've played 50 games and you don't know that the doctor can't heal a revealed mayor? What's wrong with you? <laughs> uh. <laughs> I mean... That's a, a little bit off topic here, but since when did jailing someone save them from the arsonist? I mean, I'm just like, what? Uh, from the douse or from the lighting? From the lighting. I mean, I've got tons of people saying that to me. I'm just like, okay, a lot of people are saying this now. Hmm. I, I guess, guess they that's... changed it. I don't know. I thought that's always They changed a lot way. of stuff around without telling anybody. But... I don't know. Well, yeah, okay, so getting back on topic, <laughs> uh, I figured we'd go into the four actual types of metagaming now. The first one on my list here is uh, Skype metagaming. Oh boy. Which, you oh know, boy. can also cover other, you know, because sometimes I say to somebody, are you guys on Skype? And they go, no, we're on TeamSpeak. You know, so <laughs> it can cover other things too, like being in the real in real life with each other, you know, being I on mean, Skype, being on TeamSpeak. Any type of being... real conversation outside of game. Well, while as, playing the game. as YouTubers, right. I mean, it sounds a bit hypocritical. Like, people will be like, what are you going to talk about Skype? You're on Skype all the time talking to each other. Now, uh, what I want to actually say about this is um, Skype metagaming has to be malicious. It has to be 
a actual desire to cheat. Right. I mean, giving something away in passing from saying something without meaning to is counterproductive against yourself. I mean, you'll, you'll hear me on sometimes when I said something and they'll go, oh, so you've done this. I'm just like, oh, fuck. <laughs> I mean, that's not metagaming. That's self-harm in game. Right. <laughs> I mean, it's it's the difference between accidentally pitching a foul ball and getting together with the better before the game and saying, I'm going to pitch you a foul ball and then you'll get to walk. <laughs> You know, it's like the accident versus the plan. You know what I mean? Yeah. That it, I mean, while it can be considered metagaming in one sense, it's accidental metagaming. And really, it shouldn't be held against people. I mean, it's... Like Plus, I... usually, there's mitigating factors. Like, usually, and this isn't true of a lot of YouTubers, but... Or, you know, some YouTubers. But usually, we're playing with subscribers, you know, who... Yeah are trying to get into a round where they know that we're in a Skype call together and we're talking as we record. And, you know, usually if something is, if there is a slip up, you know, we know enough to not act on it immediately. Like if somebody says, you know, oh, I forgot to jail, you know, we may say in the call, oh, so you're jailer, but we're not going to go in the town chat and say, you know, this person's jailer, kill him tonight. You know, <laughs> he just said in the chat. I don't think that would work out very well. Kill yeah. the jailer! And the <laughs> exactly. mayor just looks at you just like, the fuck? <laughs> well, I mean, like, let's say Mafia and the arsonist and werewolf have, like, majority or something, you know, to say, yeah. okay, we rule the town and he's jailer. He just said it in the Skype call. You know, I that's mean, not like, really something you've got people who, who are in Skype calls. I mean, you'll have um, three people. One's townie, one's Mafia, one's Jester. And the townie and Mafia will suddenly work together to coincidentally hang the Jester. <laughs> yes. And none of them will actually vote guilty, even though they've been pushing for it forever. Uh. What I really hate so much is when there are two people in the chat, two or more people, and they're just saying random things that you know are, like, inside jokes, and they're like, mm -hmm. you know, you know, Keith needs to shut up. And it's like, you leave Keith alone, and you're like, oh, fuck. Can we just... <laughs> can we it's not... Like, it's like spotting a Skype Mega Gamer is actually... It's fairly easy, because they're pretty blatant about it. I mean, you'll get two people gang up on this one person with no proof happening against them, Right. There'll be nobody who'll come out and said, oh, this person's this and this. And suddenly two people are just go, oh, hang this person. Oh, hang this person. And either they're mafia or they're cheating. And it always sucks, too, because you never know if that's the case or if it's one person on multiple accounts, too, which is always freaking annoying. Mm. You know, like people don't speak for the entire game and then the two of them vote in a way that, you know, is wrong. <laughs> you know, like <laughs> suddenly the two of them vote together and you're like, is this... Only mayor gets hung up higher. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez. Uh, um, uh, I yeah, I mean, it's not very nice to come up against Skypers. I mean, the way to, to counter that is generally to kill one of them, and then the other one will leave because the the one of their friends died, and the other friend will want to leave. Yeah. <laughs> Ironic I ironically, a Skype couple are vulnerable in that if you kill one, you'll probably kill them both. Right. That's true. I mean, or on, in the worst case scenario, they're multi-accounting. Uh, multi multi-accounting being the absolute uh, scum of the earth of town of Salem. <laughs> right. I mean, to go to so much trouble <laughs> for everybody Sorry. is weird. Ah. I mean, and this is, you know, for people who don't understand why... Uh, sharing information is a problem because sometimes people will say, you know, what's the problem? You know, we just, you know, help each other a little bit or whatever. I mean, all you have to do is picture this with a different game. Like, let's say you're playing, you know, a first person shooter multiplayer deathmatch game mm -hmm. and your friend on the other team is saying, okay, so our sniper is up in this tower. Okay, good. You shot him. Okay, we've got two of our guys hiding behind this wall. Okay, good. You grenaded them. You know, I mean, it's like if you buy it to any other game, it becomes really clear why it's a problem. You know, yeah, because you can't just, you're making you can't the just game that. insufferable for the other yeah. people you're playing with. Right. And I mean, two people's general uh, happiness is not worth the destruction of an entire game. And I they'd mean, probably be happy if they played correctly, too, because one of them yeah. would probably win. I mean, geez. <laughs> <laughs> uh, anyway. So yeah, uh, the next thing I have on my list here is role list metagaming, which is kind of just what we were going on about, about attributes and goals, seeing attributes and goals. Right. So I don't think we really need to say anything about that, Mom, what we've already done. Well, we could clarify what's not metagaming. 
Like yeah. when somebody says, I'm veteran, and somebody else says, no, this other person is veteran, and that's unique. You know, I mean, that could be seen, you know, some people might say, well, isn't that medicking? Because you know veteran's unique. And it's like, well, you know, that's kind of asking people to completely ignore some yeah. very obvious, you know, just for the sake of letting an evil person live. Uh, <laughs> with, within, mean, like, within the rules of the game, asking yeah. someone to copy and paste an entire, like, instruction manual to you. <laughs> I mean, if, if you were playing uh, Jack's say jacks twos and eights and somebody is just like well you have to tell me the rules and you're just like well we don't these are the rules here just like no prove it i want an instruction manual right what about, what about your will uh yeah that's a good point copy and paste copy wills. and pasting your will how many times i've been asked to copy and paste my will Ugh. i mean numerous I occasions feel... now i'm gonna flat out say this is bad purely on the concept that wills are only for when you're dead. That's right. You're that's only the whole thing, to... you know. <laughs> that's like um, your neighbor coming into your house and saying, hey, hey, you, you, show me your will. Am I in it? Am I in it? Tell me I'm in it. Well, but... <laughs> the... No, I'm not... no, you're not. Put me in it, laddie. <laughs> the, like, will's for... the will's for information. I mean, depending on your role. If you're an investigator, it's going to be filled with investigative information. If you're a jester, it's going to be filled with bullshit. So, mm -hmm. you know... If the jailer won't like, if the jailer jails you, knows you're the investigator and wants actual info, you know, and you give them the info from your will, I mean that's okay. But then again, if you're like something else and they want your will and you say it's not okay, that's kind of contradicting yourself right there. I I'd mean, be all for just <sighs> disabling the copy and pasting of wills, to be honest. I think that the will thing really should be up to the will owner. Yeah. Because if, if somebody says, I'm sheriff and this person is evil, and people say, we don't believe you, you know, then pasting in his will, you know, is basically like him taking his will out of his house and saying, look what I wrote and holding it up for everybody. But, you know, the thing of, you know, I'm sheriff and people say, you know, paste your will, you know, he's not making an assertion. He's just saying, I'm sheriff. You know, uh -huh. he's just claiming a role. Yeah. And then people say, paste all the information in your will to, you know, show us you wrote something. And it's... Further, it's silly even further because a lot of people don't write wills, you know, when they're sheriff. And most of the time, right? Blank. They'll be like, post your will. You'll post the will and be like, we don't believe you. Yeah, yeah that's another <laughs> thing. Yeah, that's another thing. Uh, okay, you're asking me to, you know, post this will. Oh, fake will. Like, what the mm -hmm. fuck was the point? I know, right. it's just like, you're asking me to do something you're not going to believe anyway. Why? <laughs> I mean, in, I will say, you can easily fake a will, no matter what role you are, so it, I can see the basis of why they would think it's fake, but then why ask to begin with? Right. Yeah. It's like when the mayor reveals and asks for everybody's role in an all-any game. It's like, you realize anybody can claim anything, right? <laughs> <laughs> anybody yeah. can write any will, you realize this, right? <laughs> yeah, in all-any, people just attempt to gain information. It's weird. Uh. So, uh, moving on from that, now one of the more tricky things is real-life metagaming. Now, the idea I had in my he head when I was going to talk about this was, say you're in a school and you're playing with your friend and your other friend glanced across the screen and says, oh, you're this role. And then suddenly right. that guy's role's busted and he breaks out in the chat, this guy's this, hang him. Right. Now, this is a real dick move to your friend, for one thing. It's like, you've gone into a game and got him deliberately ousted from the game for your own amusement. Do you know what we call that? We call that bullying. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hashtag stop bullying. Yeah. At Lank Media Games. So, uh, really, <laughs> the only advice I can give here for myself is don't let people look at your computer screen, you noob. That's true. You don't if play it at comes school, either. <laughs> Who you know is playing on the game, do not let them see the screen. Fucking punch them out. I don't care if you're in a library. Just stop them from seeing it. <laughs> yeah, I love I love when people say, and you know, I know I kind of brought this in with the Skype metagaming point earlier, but I love when people say, We're not Skyping, we're brother and sister. <laughs> and it's like, oh, okay, that makes it fine. Yeah, you know, like mm -hmm. no. <laughs> You can minimize your role if you've got people around who you know could cheat by looking at your screen. It's right. not hard. But this is a problem I've seen come up time and time again, and it annoys me so much. <laughs> oh, man. 
and if I could, I would tag on to this. It may not, you know, totally fit, but uh, I would tag on to this the idea of people being friends uh, outside the round, even if they don't know each other in real life and even if they're not on Skype or anything like that. You know, like, let's say Magna and I play a round of Town of Salem, but we're not in a call. <laughs> and he names himself Magnasword, and I name myself Tormental. You know, and we know each other, and we talk in the round, and when people say at the end, okay, Tormental is the bad guy, you know, Magnusword says, nope, he's my friend. <laughs> you know, I mean, that people do that, where they're like, or even if even if people don't know each other, they'll, like, pick themed names, like, it goes if the they're other... Sans and Papyrus, you yeah. know, somebody will be like, I'm not hanging to Papyrus, I'm Sans, you know, it's like, come well, on. Well, that's role-playing, and that's a completely yeah. different well, Just to argument. clarify, just to clarify, <laughs> Torm, Magna would fucking hang you. Oh, 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 yeah, that's true. Just, just, okay. just clarify, just man. Help me as the asshole I am. <laughs> hey, he's the one who... <laughs> just clarify. But yeah, I can see that one, too. Um, it, it, well, I mean, I know that doesn't really point. apply. It goes but... both ways. If you know someone in real life and you're playing, it's going to affect your play style. The best thing you can do is act as if they're just another player. Right. But I doubt that's ever going to happen because it's just too much of a distraction. I mean, mm. the only benefit to that is you would know that they were going to be in the game before you even started the game. Don't name yourself Magna and Tormental or whatever. Exactly. Whatever you were going to do. That's the thing. You know, people <laughs> signal each other. If you're going to name yourself that, you're asking for trouble. I mean. <laughs> it's the same as people who name themselves Adolf Hitler or something. Or, or uh, Adolf Schittler. I don't care. It, it, it's Justin just, Bieber. <laughs> Justin Bieber. You, you, you expect to die night one if you name yourself that. If you make it through night one, you've, you, you may actually win the game. You've already won the game if you get past night one. It's just in Eva. <laughs> oh, okay, man. so next one. Uh, okay, this one is debatable on whether it exists or not. So a bit controversial, but uh, actually hacking the game. I haven't seen that yet. Well, we've had suspicious incidents. I've been told by multiple people that... And, you know, based on my experience with web design and with browser-based gaming, this does sound, you know, this is something that people actually can do. But, you know, of course, I don't know if it actually has been done. But I've had multiple people tell me that they can get in with, like, an, uh, like you type something in the URL and you put in certain information and you can draw out, you know, information from the database. Mm -hmm. You know, like it'll show on, you know, you could just type into the address, you know, some kind of gobbledygook, and it'll show on the site, you know, on the page, it'll show just bare text about the round. Yeah. So, you know, people have claimed that they can do this, and, you know, I've again, this is like multiple people, but, you know, I haven't seen it personally, and it would explain a lot of things like where the, you know, the escort will say night you know day two they'll say this person is godfather and this person yeah, is consig like, and this person is framer yeah. you're like how would they know that unless they were either having somebody in the mafia which you know doesn't come up you know they don't admit that yeah. or you know the ability to use like an sql injection but i'm, to I'm gonna use information. i'm gonna use that uh, one game we had as an example where there was this one townie who found all three mafia and the arsonist as jailer all in the first three nights Right. And in sorry, instantly got rid of them. And you know, if there was somebody in the mafia game throwing, that wouldn't explain how he that found wouldn't the arsonist. Explain the arsonist. <laughs> and so that was one of the little things we found where we thought, well, what if they're actually hacking? Right. I don't I think mean, it, I don't think it would be that hard. I just don't think that I've seen it yet, so... I'm going to say but right have, now... Uh, but, Torm, I have heard oh. about that particular thing that you're talking about. I have heard about that, yeah. and, and I just don't know if it's true or not, whether people can actually do that. To say right now, Blank Media's official stance on the problem is that it doesn't happen and their servers are impregnable. Right. Which we know isn't true, because, that, you know... That, I mean, no server is impregnable, so... I mean, <laughs> I mean I'm going to use this. I mean, YouTube has been hacked quite recently, and I'm... I mean... No offense to Blank Media Games, but I'm sorry. I think YouTube's protections are a little bit higher than yours. So right. if YouTube <laughs> can get hacked, I'm pretty sure you can get hacked as well. Well, right. see, the difference with that is there are much more experienced hackers going after YouTube, aren't there? You'll, yeah, if an experienced hacker went for Blank Media Games, it would, it'd would be over with. I mean, it wouldn't be that hard <laughs> to take it. I mean, it's a browser game. 
to you know yeah i mean one of the games i run uh you know someone i had par- problems for a while from uh russian people because i would get this email you know in like broken english from a russian website or what russian email address that would say you know we have the information of your game you know send us ten thousand dollars or we'll post it to pastebin <laughs> and you know i would just say to them post it to pastebin i don't give a fuck you know <laughs> so they would you know, they'd post, like, information from the database, you know, up on the thing. And, you know, the passwords are encrypted. So, I mean, it's like that thing of, you know, people would have to do some serious decrypting to find the password of somebody for a account on a browser game. But, you know, it's like, you know, it happens. You know, people can do all of that just with their, ad- you know, website address at the top of the screen, you know. Sorry. Just type in a bunch of information and it, you know, can withdraw stuff from the database the point we're getting at here is that if something like that is happening maybe it's best to explore it a little bit just because it can happen right and if it does happen that person should be reported because beef up the security guys well (laughs) i don't think beefing it up is going to fix the issue though because people hack all kinds of games and i mean it's not just like being games you got counter-strike that people will hack You've got big time MOBAs that people hack. Blank Media Games or Town of Salem specifically is a small game that wouldn't take that much. So I don't think beefing it up is going to stop it permanently. You can still you can thin it out. It. You can thin it. Yeah, you can right. thin it out, but it's never going to go away. People I mean, are going to. I, I would take a few months without people hacking over no months without people hacking. Good point. I mean, I mean the thing is too, if they had some way of encrypting the role names. You know, are people really going to take to hack it and then try to take the time to figure out which encrypted role name matches up with which role through trial and error across many rounds? I mean, you know, I don't know if cheating at Town of Salem is that much work, you know, is worth that much work. <laughs> you know, so, I mean, they could just put in, you know, a few little roadblocks and people probably would be like, ah, screw it. I'll oh, just yeah. metagame by, you know, being on Skype with my friend or something. Yeah, you make it a little bit harder, know. people might actually give up because it wouldn't be as worth it. You can, you don't get anything I mean, out of it. The clues mm. are there that this is happening, but it, the amount of it happening, I have no idea. I mean, they may have found something and patched it. You know, so it may not even be possible anymore the way people were doing it. All right. That's and also maybe true. That was I the... mean, that would be something that they probably wouldn't even want to tell us anyway. Right. <laughs> I mean, just throwing that out there. If they, if that date, we patched the hole that was giving everybody access to everything in our game. But... <laughs> Small three by three meter hole that you could uh, shoot a one prat through. <laughs> oh man! All right. So my next little bit here is opinions from you guys. So uh, open floor from if you want to say anything that we've missed. I think that. Trump would be an embarrassment as a president. But hey, 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 I can hey, understand hey, hey. why people are voting for him. No, this, this is uh, a British <laughs> channel. Get your American politics out of here. <laughs> you Talk shit that? about Cameron or leave. <laughs> uh, Kirk Cameron. Not is... that Cameron. Oh. Oh. <laughs> but yeah, Jedi, you got know. any? No bashing Hillary Clinton, please. No. <laughs> what way. about Bernie Sanders? Oh, don't bash him. <laughs> oh. Uh, well, opinion, not good. Not good at all. It ruins games. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I, I mean, I don't know what to say that we haven't already said. I mean, I just think, you know, there's nothing you're ever going to do about it. I mean, you can say, we could say all of this, but people are still going to find ways to hack games. People are still going to metagame. And like I was saying for, like, uh, Skype metagaming, like, there are things that even we do that we don't mean to do, like, with the accidents. Like, if we're playing a Town of Salem game and we're, oh, I'm getting into it, and then I hear you typing, and then I immediately find out who you are, and then I find <laughs> out you're bad. I mean, and this, that's another thing, too. Let's say I, I, I'm using this information, and I then I find out you're bad. Do I continue to vote you up knowing that the rest of the town wants to vote you up as well, and or do I game throw? 
But even though nope. I, I mean, that's the thing. I know now that you're bad based on information that I've got. As the bad guy here, I would uh, say that you should stay still and let me stab you. But um, that's bias. Well, see, that, that, that's <laughs> that, of, that. Of course, that's you know the thing. But then you you, you got to look at it. There are also two different sides to that specific meta gaming because what you got to do, Jenna, is you got to sit the bad guy down, <laughs> look him dead in the eye, and say, "Don't kill people." And then I think it'll be okay. Magna, don't <laughs> kill people. It's not good for you. Okay. My stop. suggestion would be that nine times out of ten, because this, you know, has happened before where we've, you know, discovered something we shouldn't have. Nine times out of ten, if you just give it a minute, if you, like, wait for the next day, or if you, you know, ha hold your horses for a little bit, you know, somebody else in the round usually in the chat will say, you know, I investigated Magnus Sword and he's a serial killer. Uh -huh. You know, so it's like, you know, if you just hold your horses a little bit on the information, usually it works itself out. And then you could say, okay, good, someone else found him. You know, so I don't have to be, you know, it's not that I'm using my information now. You well, know, it was I mean, actually I mean, said okay, by someone else in the chat. Let's say, someone else <laughs> let's say someone else does find out this information. Do you follow the bandwagon? Yes. Yeah, I, even though I you, think, even you know, though, even though you, ha even though you have found out from other means... You know now right. he's telling the truth because you found out, you know, but you follow the Well, bandwagon. see, that's the thing, you know. You see, have to... what if that person that you learned the information from is actually a jester and you've just helped a jester win? Is the other person then the metagamer? And that would, in <laughs> fact, be the malicious metagaming because you fooled your friend into thinking that you're bad. Ooh. I don't know. Magna Magna brings up a quagmire situation. Oh, we all know about the, <laughs> we all know about the je, we all know about jester uh, meta gaming here. I mean, you know, because I mean the thing is, you know, <laughs> it always works itself out. Where... I was a fake meta gamer that time, and then pissed on me. There's a certain point where uh, you have to sort of let your gut and your adult mentality take over. Yeah. And you have to be you have to be honest with yourself and you have to say, you know, yes, the sheriff just outed Magna and I know already that he's the killer. You have to like be real with yourself and be an adult in your head and think, would I actually believe this? And if it's yes, you go with it. Like in a situation if, if it's no, you don't. <laughs> in a situation where the mafia has left in their will, here's mafia, here's mafia. Mm -hmm. And one of them turns out to be Mafia. Right. It's quite possible the other one's actually Mafia. And as a townie, it's your duty to get rid of them. See, and you've see, been given bad see, information. That's, that was another thing that I was going to say. If that does happen and you're like, okay, we hang these people, they both turn out to be Mafia, you can report the person who game through, but that's not. Right. That shouldn't, but does that stop you from hanging the confirmed Mafia? I mean, technically, no, it I mean, shouldn't. At that point, oh, I'm sorry. At that point, you just. In my estimation, it's just like, let's get on to the next round. You know, this one's ruined. <laughs> you know, let's this just this move is on. why I think there should be a, a clause that the janitor can clean Mafia. Hmm. <laughs> that would be interesting. Can't that <laughs> can that technically happen if, like, the transporter was to transport the Godfather to kill a fellow Mafia and the janitor was also targeting that Mafia? So the janitor. It can was... happen for a janitor, but I, I mean, full on cleaning your oh. friends in the bathtub. No, oh, you mean. On purpose, <laughs> not on accident. Like if somebody in Mafia chat says, just so you know, I'm going to tell everybody who you are, you know, then you could say, clean. <laughs> well, what attitude do you think people should take in the situation where somebody is asking for their roles and attributes? Well, I could, I could say what I suggest people do, and I could say what I actually do. Okay. What I suggest people do is, you know, kind of calmly explain to them and say, you know, I really would prefer if we play this game straight. I'm not evil. And you could say this even if you are evil. Uh -huh. You know, I'm not evil, but I really would prefer just to play the game normally. I appreciate that you, you know, have a tactic that you want to that way. Yeah. What I always do is I don't metagame kill me. <laughs> <laughs> I just tell him it's too long. You're not seeing my will. You're not getting my attributes. If you execute me, go ahead. Uh, see... But... See, I always just type in what I think the goal is and then get it wrong so they kill me. <laughs> oh, jeez. Hey, I can't Jeffrey remember criminal the... and bad guy. I can't remember <laughs> the exact exact wording. But, yeah. uh... I mean... The holy grail? No. I mean, realistically, Jailer's 
when they lose the ability, I mean, that's just one of the, ta like, I don't know when that tactic really came up. I know that that was an early game tactic where, and, you know, everyone thought it was perfectly fine at first right. because it worked. Now that people can cheat doing that tactic, it's no longer okay. So that that's also kind of what annoys me. When this tactic first came out, no one thought it was a bad thing. No one really cared because it actually got you to the truth. Now that people can look up the wiki and figure out what it is, now it's a bad thing. Now that people can get around it, it's a bad thing. That's... I think, too, it, it sort of is like, it seems like a good idea until it happens to you. That, 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 <laughs> so, yeah. so it's like, sort of like a learning experience where the minute you're executed for not knowing your role, or, you know, your claimed role, but, you know, then you're like, oh, wait a minute, this is unfair, I didn't realize. <laughs> something, if it happens to everyone who, and they think it's bad, then everyone should think it's bad. Right. That's not the way I think life there's, works. You know, there's also that thing where... It, it's like, oh, go ahead. That syndrome where uh, if puppies fall on 90% of the population, I'm fine as long as they don't fall on me. Hmm. There you go. Puppies. Yeah, puppies. Ve very heavy puppies. Okay. Magna hates puppies. <laughs> hey! But I mean, the thing is, you know, it just is like... Uh, I think people should feel like, well... You know, if they feel it's unfair, they should then not do it when they're jailer. But I think also there's a lot of people who think, well, people do it to me, so why can't I do it to other people? I think it's more of a, sorry for the Christian saying here, but um, an idea of turning the other cheek and not asking for attributes. Right. And then not giving attributes in return. Right. It, I think that's one of the only ways this is going to be solved is by a giant community consensus. And, like, if a jailer does do it, put in your will, jailer, jailer told me to ask for attributes, kick his ass. <laughs> I mean, realistically, though, when we look at it, we may not agree with it, but in the end, it is blank meat is game, dis game or their decision to decide what is a rule and what isn't a rule. And until right. they make that specific thing a rule, like, not well, a um. I can tell you now, they actually do disagree with the whole practice. They disagree with it, but they haven't made it a rule. They haven't made it a rule, like... Oh, you're not allowed to do this. You're not allowed to do that. I mean, it's kind of it's kind of like one of those rules where it's just like, or not really a rule, but a like, you know, we don't like it, but we're not going to tell you not to do it. Well, right. the whole idea was that we're going to put out pop up boxes that give you all of this information in game. Yeah, but that hasn't happened yet. I think I I think it was two years ago, maybe that I really was pressing them and saying, you know, please add to the front page notes about you know what is considered cheating not you know not the forum you know not the frequently asked questions not the wiki you know the front page of the game when people log in because that's what almost everybody is only going to look at <laughs> you know yeah, a lot of people true. are not going to the forum or the wiki yeah you know what that is one thing that they do they need in the actual game itself they need rules right they need and they don't rule. even have to be overboard with it. They could just make like a little spot where it's like a rotating, you know, did you know type thing. Or, and it just says, or, did or, you know that or, this, like, you know, is or, cheating or, or did and you then, know? Yeah, or like, um, I mean, even if that, even if they, they want to do that, but like under that, make a link to like all, like every single rule possible because people aren't going to go to like go to the forums to find the link or uh, find the rules. Right. But if you like give them a link to click on, you know, maybe they'll click on it. Because, <laughs> I mean, I think they have, like, a link to Terms of Service or something, but uh, yeah, nobody I, reads Terms of Service. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, like, really. But I'm like, sure there's something in there about, you know, something. I don't know. Terms of Service, as I like to call it, the swipe right. I mean, you could even Thanks. sweeten the deal. Oh, if you read the all the rules and find something in the rules, you can get, like, a free hundred coins or something like that. I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Completely read the rules and answer, like, a five que questions, yeah, questions about the rules. And you get, like... And you get, 300 500 coins yeah something like that give someone incentive to read the rules <laughs> i know yeah. they added a tutorial uh yeah like they, a tutorial they round a tutorial but... but everyone's getting pissed off because the people are making new com new new accounts and they're like it's making me do a tutorial what the fuck <laughs> yes yeah, somebody was in a stream last night and they were trying to get in around with the streamer and so you know they were like put in their name to be added to the stream and the person on the stream added them yeah. And then they were in the chat saying, wait, wait, I'm stuck in a tutorial. Wait, please, wait. <laughs> yeah, that was on mine. I was just like, I'm sorry, we can't wait. I mean, that's okay, yeah, like I was, a 10-minute tutorial. I wasn't sure tutorial. if that was the stream. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, it's just crazy.
<laughs> well, right. Well, um, I think we've exhausted everything we wanted to talk about. So I'd like to say thank you to both Tom and Jenna for joining me today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, we... I'll, I'll thank you on behalf of Jedi. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, so uh, guys, in the ch- in the comments, if you have anything to say about meta gaming, or if you disagree with us completely, just say you guys fucking suck. Please comment; it gets us money. But, Yay! Uh... <laughs> you can just say Torm sucks, and then we'll be we'll we'll laugh at him. Yeah, just yeah. hashtag Torm sucks. Yeah, hashtag I don't know why you're putting a hashtag it's in the comments. Better than maybe. hashtag blame Magna. That's True. fucking spreading so far.